Hi, this is Gail from Bernina of Naperville. And are you eager for the new Bernina Embroidery Software version 9 update to come out so you can see the new square medium clamp hoop or the large free arm embroidery hoop? Well, so am I, but hold tight. In the meantime, I want to show you how you can create your own hoop right in the Bernina Embroidery Software. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> So in my Bernina Embroidery Software 9, it doesn't really matter what design I have up or anything like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a medium clamp square hoop for my seven series or my eight series. So all I wanna do is find my hoop icon and right click on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create one. Now, one thing you might want to keep in mind here is the square hoop is eight and a half inches. So before I do this, I want to select US measurements. There we go. And now I'm going to right click on this again. And now I'm going to create my hoop and I'm going to call it medium square clamp hoop. And I want it to be a square. I have options of oval, three position, sliding, all of those things, but we want a square. And then down here is where I'm going to type 8.5 inches and we're going to save the hoop. Now, because I just created it, it's already selected there. So I can just say, okay. And there is our design in what we've created is a medium square clamp hoop. Now, the large free arm hoop for the seven and the eight series, you get the full field of a regular large oval hoop. But on the five series, you're gonna miss almost 10 millimeters. So let's just say we want to use this cute little camper and we wanna put this on a bag somehow, okay? So now what I wanna do so what I wanna do is right click on the hoop again, and this time I wanna be in the five series here, and we're gonna create, and I also wanna make sure that I pick my number 26 foot, I wanna create a new hoop, and we're gonna call this large free arm five. Now this one is an oval hoop, and if we, you notice here, I'm in, I'm in inches still, but I really wanna be in millimeters for this one. So let's go ahead and save the hoop and say, okay, I know that this isn't right, but we wanna change our measurements to metric. And now let's go back and right click. Let's still pick that hoop, see it's still selected and now let's edit it. And now in here, we need to say 120 the width is going to be 133, and the height is about 280. And now we can save the hoop. Yes, I want to override it. And then I can say OK. And there's our large oval, give and take. This will do until we get our update. <laughs> well, it was that easy. So now this gives you a new knowledge that you can apply to other things down the road while we wait for our update to come out. <laughs> so if you want to see more videos like this one and more tutorials, don't forget to check out our Bernina of Naperville YouTube channel. It's easy. It's youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville. And there you can like, comment, and subscribe. Meantime, let's go stitch something awesome.